Today, first let me say thank you to my subscribers and my friends for tuning in with me once again. I really, really appreciate the love and the support. Today I'm going to show you this uh, wig unit called It's a Wig and her name is Fane. Uh, she's in a 1B, very, very soft hair, very, very light and um, I mean it's just like a natural, a, not a natural curl but kind of, sort of, like a natural curl, just dropped. It's not tight curl, it's, it's loose curl as you can see and I've had her for about two weeks but I've only worn her for about four days, you know, off and on because I wanted to see how she holds up in the heat uh, because it's getting warm again and I'm trying to get some cool units for uh, my spring and summer look. And she's not very, very long. She's not short, but she's, you know, mm, I mean, if you stretch her out, she's maybe like, I guess maybe like 18 inches, but of course she's curly, so I'm going to leave her just like this. No trying to pull it straight anything like this like that she is synthetic uh, and like I told you guys before when I buy a curly wig I want to leave it as such if I buy a straight one I want to leave it straight but that's just me but anyway I also wanted to show you the package that she came in it's this package right here and you will see Fame HW Fame and it's in a 1B. Now this is how Fame look. And I didn't have to do too much to her because it's like a ready to go wig. The only thing that I did do is just pull just a little bit of my my hair, you know, outside of the um, the um, the track of the, I just pulled a little bit of my hair, you know, above the track of the wig, you know, to hide the, the uh, track. And I did not, my hair is gray, you know, and I did not color it. I did not use my color wand, even though I do have one to touch up the grays when I want to wear a half wig. But what I decided to do today is just, you know, let my, my natural gray show in the front. And, you know, when our hair grow out, and the front of it is gray around the perimeter, around the um, the edges of the hair. It's it's gray. And I decided to just let her look kind of natural, you know, in the front. So that's what I did. Also, someone had asked me about um, wig shine. What do I use to keep my wig shining if they should go dull? And what I use is the, uh, the wig shine. And it's oil free. And you can use it on human and synthetic wigs, ladies. You can use it on both uh, human and synthetic. And uh, I've had this for about maybe seven to eight months. And sharing it with my daughter-in-law also. But anyway, that's pretty good for that length of time because you don't have to use it that often. It only takes a little. A little goes a long way. So remember that. Also, what I'm going to do is uh, take her off and let you guys see the inside and most of you that have been following me you you know you pretty much know what the inside of the the uh, units look like but then we have to remember ladies when we're doing these reviews is that we have new people that's coming on board that's learning uh, about wigs you know just like I had to learn and this is why a lot of times I do show the inside of the wig and talk about the wig because new people, you know, they don't know. And it's, it's a learning experience for all of us. So those of you that, you know, already know, thank you for tuning in. But those that don't, stick around so I can show you the inside of her and how to uh, apply it and get that, that natural look in the front. So just sit back and I'll be right back so we can all look at the inside of her. Stay tuned. Okay, ladies, I'm back. What I wanted to show you also, if you can see, this part of my hair is just like a little hump. I just pulled just a little bit with my, my rat tooth comb, tooth comb, just a little bit out. And this right here, I left uh, kind of hanging to go. I left this part right here hanging. Let's try that again. This part, I just bumped. Well, this part I just pulled from underneath the, the wig cap just to give it a little hump over the um, the width of the the um, 
half wig and I left this kind of straight so I see what we'll do with that but I just normally just take it and kind of you know tuck but anyway this is her and let's look at the inside you have the long comb in the front and you have the the net you know the cap the normal cap and then you have the tag in the back I'm sorry the the comb in the back and you have the tag that says it's a wig so let's just put her right back on and lady she is so cool because it has been kind of hot out and she is really a cool wig to to wear And another thing too, you can also, of course, uh, wear a headband over her or, you know, however you, you see fit to wear her. And what she did exactly how I had my hair pulled out, she kind of fit right back into the same mold. Just take these strings right here. I frown my face a lot. I got to stop doing that. But that little hump of hair is right there. And that track is right there. I'm working in a different room today. So I didn't have a stand to put my mirror on. So bear with me. Just wanted to make sure I had that track head. And as simple as that, ladies, and fame is ready to go. I am going to leave her, um, I'm going to leave the link posted in my description box. And let me say to let me say this to you guys. Uh, this company is owned by some African American women, and I try to support you know our people. I don't know all companies that are owned, you know, um, but this one I do know are owned by African American women. So I I did support, and uh, hope you do the same. And this this unit was only seventeen dollars, and. Um, I think she'll be around for a while. And one thing I do too, ladies, uh, once I'm done with my units, if I'm not going to wear them, you know, well, let's put it this way. I don't have mannequins for every unit that I have. So I have to maintain each unit. And what I do, when I don't wear her, I just take her off, put her back in the, in the package that she came in, and put her on the shelf and t until I'm ready to wear her again. Now, if I'm going to wear her for a week or so, then I'll put on a, on a mannequin head. But with that thought in mind, we just have to maintain our wigs no matter what we spend. If we spend 10 bucks for them, maintain them. If we spend, ooh, I'm not going to even say, four or 500 bucks for a wig, of course you're going to maintain that. But I say maintain the, the least expensive just as well as you would the expensive. And they will last, you know, a good while. So... With all of that said, I think I've covered everything and I hope this has been helpful for somebody uh, like it was for me when I started learning about different wigs. So I think that's about it, ladies. So until we meet again.